I did not. I didn't actually. Oh, it just didn't go down very well. I'm gonna wake it up to see it all. My little girl's awake. I have been just doing a little um, planting actually inside here. My camera battery's dead, was dead, so I didn't show you that, but um, I put some stuff in those cups. We'll see how this works. I, um, <laughs> I love lettuce and I wanna make sure I have an abundance of that starter cabbage. I don't know if they'll work or not, but I actually am just gonna use my kitchen window because we have no other great window for this um i tried my porch with these already seven days ago and nothing's come up so i just used egg cartons we'll see i just watered them they were a little bit dry so i'm hoping changing the light from here to our porch or from our porch window to here will help if not i tried and i'll just have to buy the starter plant myself um which i typically do so um i just thought it'd be fun to get started and hopefully this works i did cut a plastic thing um from a, one of my daughter's little bathroom toys to go under it because this gets wet and leaks a little bit but let's go see what little nevaeh's doing Now you having fun? Hi, sweetie. <laughs> are you ready to get out? Yeah, are you excited to get up? Should we get you up? Yeah, I think so, right? Yeah, yes, we should. <laughs> A little dusting of our nightstands here real quick they're just crates and that's actually what you're sitting on but um, I also am gonna throw my old slippers away because I do not need these especially when they're ripping out so bad and then I'm gonna wipe down the floor a little bit in here because it's super dusty and gross so I'm just gonna wipe it down with this rag and I'm out of floor cleaner, so I'm just gonna wipe the edges and stuff and use this cleaner. Ooh, my little girl is <laughs> gonna fall. You're okay. when we had one nice day and oh my goodness these blinds oh 
They are so gross. We do live close to a gravel road, grain elevator. We are in a small, small town. Some of you might think your town is small. Well, some of you probably have a smaller town. But I live in a town of about 700. So um, things are pretty close, um, like city to country wise. Houses are quite a distance away, which is nice because I love having a yard. Um, but yeah, I opened the windows a couple weeks ago and these blinds are disgusting. So I'm gonna wipe those down here real quick and uh, see what I can get off of here. Ugh. So gross. So for lunch, I'm gonna make a salad. We got this giant bag of romaine from the school, my school where I teach, um, because, you know, I was shut down for the week and they had just gotten a truck in. So I am, <laughs> they were willing to give away some romaine. Here. Yummy. She's eating uh, carrots. She didn't want the split pea soup that I made last night. Not sure why, she loves it normally. Um, so I am gonna make a salad. And then I have like cauliflower and cucumbers and then this also came in this bag. But it was so nice. They were giving away the bananas and romaine, which I totally understand because you don't want it to go bad. So that's what I'm going to make for lunch. Blades will either have chili or split pea um, or salad too because we need to eat that. Oh, who is that? Are we yeah, so happy? <laughs> Are we so happy? Second cup of coffee time. I've been loving half and half. I don't know why I didn't used to even drink dairy, but now I do. And then I'm going to freeze the rest of our split pea soup from last night. We're going to be taking off Thursday morning to um, help my brother. He had a farming incident where he fell off a grain bin last Sunday. And play, praise the Lord, he didn't paralyze anything, no head injury, but he cannot use his arms real well. Um, one was shattered and then he has to wear like a turtle shell brace. So we're gonna go help him finish a house project he didn't do. Um, I'm hoping and praying Nebeha is over her many nose because if she is actually sick sick, I don't wanna go back and take that to him with him having recovery time. So then he'd be more susceptible to things. But anyway, that's kind of uh, digression of drinking coffee right now. But anyways, my husband's talking to someone to get some things for some taping and mudding of some sheetrock. So um, I'm gonna work on my coffee and some freezing this whippy soup and then feed my little girl. This was one of our projects we were gonna get done and I guess it's happening now. We have a few more termites show up. If you haven't been following me for a while, there it is. Look at how nasty that is. We have termites come in our kitchen. Oh, oh, look at them moving. Yeah. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, they're all over. Oh, how come the tree, oh, oh, that's so gross. I'm probably not gonna show YouTube this cause they'll die. No, you can show them, that's fine. Oh, that is disgusting. Okay. All right, so I'm going to talk a little bit while I fold some laundry. Um, as you saw, I showed you the nasty termite damage we have in our stairway going down to my husband's workspace. And, ugh, 
a hair. <laughs> and I just couldn't believe it. This is our third year in this house and we've had it treated every year. Um, we have a warranty, thank goodness, for five years to um, come back if we have termites show up and then have to be live and active. As you saw, they were live and active. I didn't expect that. Like that, that was my live reaction. That was so nasty how that looked. And it makes me so frustrated because these termite, we haven't had our house tented or exterminated, um, but we've had this chemical treatment in the ground around the house around our garage around the shed and around this other little house we own and it's just i can't believe that they're still here so i am glad blaze is willing to work on that um it's just it's just sickening in my gut to think we have this i know every house has a problem um yes this is a little bit nasty so sorry if that grossed you out it grossed me out like it made my stomach sick honestly <laughs> um to see that so yeah that's been a frustration and this yeah this week has just been kind of a challenge and last week like you heard me mention my brother fell from the grain bin and that was just super traumatic and hard and um gonna be hard for him with his recovery because he has three months in that like turtle shell brace to have to do when he's a farmer so spring season is upon us with planting soon so that's going to be just hard on him so pray for his speedy recovery if you're the praying type which i am so i would love that but um i'm gonna finish folding the laundry i just want to sit down and chat and share about that termite damage and hey you know <laughs> Again, kind of crazy week. Uh, Blaze is not currently sending anything in to Amazon. He works from home, is a third party seller on Amazon. They are not accepting any at this time for three weeks because of COVID-19. So it makes complete sense. But so he'll get some house projects done, he said, and he'll be able to do some other things. So we will be financially fine. We um, do follow Dave Ramsey and have an emergency fund, a wealth established emergency fund so we are not afraid of him not working i still have my music teaching position whatever that will entail entail for the next two months if you haven't watched my video from last week wednesday i did resign so um, in the fall i will not be teaching as well so that will be a change too but um we do pay on a 12 month basis instead of nine so we do get paid i'm not not worried at all and i need to trust in the lord with finances just like with everything else so um i don't want this vlog to get all about just chat laundry time maybe i should just make this a separate video i don't know but um let me know if you are okay with hearing all of my things that are going on because i know everybody has situations and um life issues that they, they have going on too but i just wanted to share that because everything has been kind of heavy on my heart and in my mind and yeah it's just been a bit of a struggle lately with things that keep popping up so um i'm gonna finish folding laundry and i think we're having um deer bologna and cornbread tonight so i'm excited about that um, so I will have to make that maybe during her nap time here. And if we have enough time, I'd like to go for a walk. But it, yesterday was a little chilly for Nevaeh, so we'll see. It's only 40 degrees out and a little breezy in South Dakota. The breeze, the little breezy is like 10 miles per hour. So anyways, I am going to keep folding here and less talking. Change of plans for supper. I have cornstarch, not cornmeal. That was a brain fart. So I am going to roast the bologna with some sweet potato and onion and maybe something else, but call that good and then eat some salad on the side. So I think that'll be easier. That way we use the bologna that's in the fridge before we go. Get your cup. Can you get your cup? Good job, you got it. You almost got it. 
Do you get it? Do you need help? Dear. Happy baby. Happy baby. So we did go for a walk. It was gorgeous out. Even though it was a little chilly, nice to get some fresh air. Um, you hear some pounding. Blaze is still working on taking apart the stairwell. I'll show it to you here when he's all done. Um, but I do have supper prepped. I did that earlier. We are having roasted sweet potato, onion, and then I already cut the deer bologna and chops to roast with it. And then we'll have some lettuce with it too. Sorry, lots of noises going on. So I'm just, oh, oh, yeah, she's getting tired. She usually goes to bed by, but it's 5, 10, so supper will start happening for her soon. And then prepping for bed, she goes to bed about 6, so, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, I didn't see all that. That's nice. Isn't that good? I don't you can get I it. I tried to make a somewhat straight cut. This old house, right? <laughs> and it's not even that old. Oh, that wood is gross down there. It's actually not too bad. This isn't that bad. Oh, it's not. just some lines? No. Not as bad as the stuff that was over there that you didn't. No. I'm going to end my vlog. It's probably gotten extremely long already today, but we just enjoyed some great value. Chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream. It is really good. Um, so if your Walmart still has food in it and you're able to go out, I would recommend this to have. Um, it's been kind of one of those days where a lot happened. A lot of things uh, ended up going down. Blaze took care of the termites, which is good. And yeah, I'm just going to finish cleaning up. We just ate and it's 8.30, so a little later than normal. And Nevaeh struggled to fall asleep tonight. Not sure why. She's normally really good about going to bed, but I'm gonna call it. If you enjoy these, um, give it a thumbs up for the vlogs. And I hope to catch you in the next video. All right, bye.